welcome dear student on my channel today we'll see about the structure of ear structure of human ear first we'll see about the structure of human ear and at the end of this video we'll see about the cochlear implant human ear is a important organ not only for the hearing but also to maintain the body equilibrium anatomy if you'll observe that the ear is there which is made up of the three parts one that is a external ear so this from here till the here that is about the external ear then second that is about the middle ear so this portion is there that is about the middle ear and then this portion is there that is about the inner ear we'll see one by one the external ear just now i said from here till the this ear portion is there that is about the external ear it consists of the ear pinna it consists of the ear pinna ear pinna so this is about the ear pinna which is a uh, supported by the cartilage and this ear pinna is there which is a uh, immovable then the auditory canal then this is about the auditory canal and then the tympanic membrane so here is the tympanic membrane is present in case of the humans the ear pinna is there in case of the human this ear pinna is there it is a immovable part and it is supported by the the elastic cartilage structure where in case of the animal the ear pinna is there if you observe that it is movable to get the idea about from where the sound comes so according to that they change the direction of the ear pinna to protect themselves this pinna is there which is a uh, supported by the elastic cartilage it leads into the auditory canal this ear pinna leads into the auditory canal pinna collects this pinna collects all what are the sound waves and these sound waves are sent it into the auditory canal so here you can watch that how the auditory canal is there inside outside is the ear pinna and then it enter inside in the form of auditory canal so which forms a funnel like structure this auditory canal is there which ends at the eardrum auditory canal which ends at this eardrum it transfers the sound waves to the eardrum it transfers the sound waves to the eardrum there are very fine hair and wax secreting sebaceous glands in the skin of the ear pinna as well as in the auditory canal which prevents the dust and the small insects entering in the ear the tympanic membrane the tympanic membrane which is present here is a delicate membranous structure which transmit the sound waves this transmit the sound waves to the middle ear from here it transmits the sound wave to the middle ear it is a form of the connective tissue this the what is the membrane is there which is a form of the connective tissue covered with the skin on the outside from the outside it is covered with the skin and inside it shows a mucous membrane the middle ear if you will observe that this is about the middle ear which consists of the chain of the three ear ossicles which are the first one that is about the the this one like the hammer like structure is there that is the malleus is there then inner to that this is the second one is there which is uh, called as a incus also called as a anvil and then the third one is there this portion is there which is called as a stapes is a the stirrup that is the smallest bone it is a the smallest bone in the body on receiving the vibrations from the tympanic membrane on receiving the vibration from the tympanic membrane the ear ossicles amplify so this the ear ossicles are there which amplifies the vibration and transfer this to the cochlea so here it transfer from here to this cochlea 
the short ostracium tube is there which connect this middle ear from here if you observe that it from here it goes and then here it comes out so here this is about the ostracium tube which connects the middle ear to the pharynx it equalizes the air pressure on both the side of eardrum because of this the air pressure is get maintained the internal ear is there this portion is there that is about the internal ear so this is about the internal ear this internal ear consists of what it consists of the labyrinth and the vestibular apparatus it consists of the labyrinth and the vestibular apparatus the labyrinth consists of the bony labyrinth and the membranous labyrinth it consists of the bony and the, the whatever the membranous labyrinth is there these are filled with the perilymph and the endolymph respectively the coil portion this the coil portion is there this coil portion of the labyrinth is called as a cochlea now we'll see about the inner ear and the mechanism of balance beside this the cochlea the inner ear also has a vestibular apparatus which is composed of the three semicircular canals so this three semicircular canals are present one two and the third one and the utricular sacular region with the otolith organ all the three semicircular canals are there which lie in the different plane at right angle so each one is there which is a right angle to each other these canals are filled with the endolymph the base of each of the canal has an ampulla at the each base it shows the presence of the ampulla in which there is a sensory spot called as a crista the crista help in maintaining the equilibrium pinna of the ear which receive the sound waves and directs them into the toward the eardrum the eardrum vibrates and these vibrations are amplified and transmitted to the ear ossicles then it transmitted to the ear ossicles to the endolymph inside the cochlea then it goes to the endolymph inside the cochlea this generates the waves in the endolymph these waves induce the ripple in the basilar membrane the moment in the basilar membrane cause the hair cells to press against the tectorial membrane this generates the nerve impulses in the diff in the afferent neurons this generates the nerve impulses in the afferent neurons the impulses is a sent to the brain via auditory nerve auditory cortex of the brain decodes the sound so this way we hear the sound okay now we'll see about the cochlear implant a cochlear implant may help the someone with hearing loss restore or improve the ability to hear and understand speech a cochlear implant is a small electronic device that electrically stimulates the cochlear nerve for hearing the implant has external and the internal parts the external part sits behind the ear it picks up sounds with the microphone it then processes sound and transmits it to the internal part of the implant a thin wire and a small electrodes lead to the cochlea which is part of the inner ear the wire sends a signal to the cochlear nerve which sends the sound information to the brain to produce a hearing sensation so this way the cochlear implant is useful for the people those who are having the problem of hearing so in this video we have discussed regarding the structure of human ear as well as about the cochlear implant i have made the video for the how to draw diagram easily in that one of the video is there that is about the how to draw human ear diagram easily step by step in this video i have shared the links of the different diagrams videos as well as about the various videos related to the biology you can watch that and kindly share with your friends Thank you.